Hi, my name is Mark Driver and we're at Rathfinney Estate. And can you tell us what grape varieties you're planting here at the moment? Uh, well, we're starting with the first planting of our, our first 50 acres. We're planting Riesling, uh, Pinot Meunier, uh, Pinot Noir and some Chardonnay. And you're going to be producing still wine and sparkling wine. Can you just explain the reason for that? Yeah, we concentrate on the sparkling wine, but obviously with the sparkling wine, the ageing process, we're going to be ageing our wine for a minimum of three years. So we want something for people to taste in the interim. So we're going to produce a very small quantity of still wine, and that'll come from the Riesling, which we're planting this year. Um, you mentioned earlier you're a big Riesling fan. How do you think Riesling, UK Riesling is going to go down? Are you going to have to really push that one hard? I don't think so. I think that uh, it, it, providing we can ripen the, the, the Riesling here, because uh, there are only really two other sites in, in England that have tried Riesling before. But I think if we can ripen Riesling here, it'll give the credibility to, to the site. Um, and I think it'll go down very well. It's really for local drinking, so it'll be for the local consumption within the local area. When you say local, you're the, the nearest village is Alfriston. Are you going to have a, a centre there, a tourist centre? Yeah, we're going to have. We're setting up a cellar door in the centre of Alfriston, um, in conjunction with the heritage centre. So uh, we're setting up a heritage centre to uh, document the history of the Cookmere Valley and also Alfriston itself. And this is going to be one of the biggest vineyards in, in the UK. Obviously you have a picture in your mind of how the wines are going to be marketed. Are these, these are going to be premium wines, I presume? They're going to be priced at a similar level to uh, the, 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 the quality end of the sparkling wine market, so the uh, entry-level champagne uh, price market. And when you decided to go into um, vineyards and winemaking, what was your inspiration? Well, really, historically, it was, it was really New Zealand. Uh, I went to New Zealand in 1990 and uh, drove all around New Zealand over three weeks and uh, went through the north and then down through the South Island and visited lots of wineries and got very excited about the, the, the wines that were coming out of, out of New Zealand. And do you think our climate is getting more and more um, suitable for grape growing in the UK? Oh, definitely. Well, you can feel it today. This is, uh, we're still just at the end of March and uh, here we got spectacular weather. Um, last year we had record average annual temperatures in Eastbourne, which is just six miles to the southeast of here. Uh, we've had a um, weather station on this land now for the last 18 months. Uh, temperatures are really, really good. Our growing degree days are similar with uh, certainly with the Champagne region and they're actually comparable with some parts of New Zealand. We're getting growing degree days of about 1150, uh, which is you know, very high, it's very decent. And will the wines be um, labelled under the Raffini name or will you have different labels for different wines? Our sparkling wine will all be labelled under the Raffini name. Um, our still wine will probably have a Cradle Valley name on it because we're in Cradle Valley, so we're just below something called Cradle Hill. So we're in this lip of the South Downs. The sea is only three miles away, uh, which gives us that wonderful frost protection. Um, but uh, we're protected as well from the southwesterly winds by Cradle, Cradle Hill, and we're in a place called Cradle Valley. So our still wines will probably be uh, called Cradle Valley. That's fantastic. Can you just give us your website? Yes, the website is uh, rathfiniestate.com. That's fantastic. Thank you so much.